I'm A. Marie. I'm an artist. My practice really involves around just being intentional and capturing the things that I see every day. My mom is a huge history buff. She is our family historian. I was just curious about how far back could we go and trace our family. And every time we started going back, we would hit roadblocks. I actually believe that our ancestors are in a genealogical purgatory. And when you discover them, they tell you stories about their lives, which have influenced your life in ways that you had no idea of. My great-grandmother, Eula May, she was like the anchor for the family. She was a stickler for getting your education. And I know that my mother would take Eula May on election day. That was something that she did not play about. You have the right to vote, and you're going to utilize that right to vote. I've just always heard about this person, and I'm a person that's really connected by the stories. Ooh. You ready? Yes. Gosh, I love it when these documents come up. Oh, look, they have it highlighted. Eula May, occupation. A stimmer in the tobacco factory. That's hard mm -hmm. labor. Okay, so let's see if we can find her in the previous census. 1920 census, she's listed. Oh Here we God. go. Where she's showing adopted. Oh, now that is fascinating. Let's go back one more census, 1910. It says Eula M, daughter. Lucy and Curly. Curly. So these are her actual parents. She never spoke of her parents. The past was the past. You know, this is the farthest we've ever been able to come. She did good. Yeah. <laughs> Teamwork. Yes. Let's look for Robert. So this is the voter registration books for Georgia. <gasps> look, Etchinson. He registered to vote. I think that is absolutely fascinating. It's just mind blowing because I do understand the importance of voting. And I think when you see it this way, it like puts things in a different perspective, too. I wonder about Eula May. Maybe she grew up knowing that. Maybe because that would have been her grandfather. Right. And she passed it down the line. I am so excited to be on this ancestry journey, and I cannot believe my mom is gonna be connected with her favorite historian, Dr. Henry Louis Gates, Jr. Oh! Hi. Hello, ladies. Hi. My husband and I, we watch your show all the time. Oh, okay. thank you. You know, it is very rare, Joyce, for an African-American of your generation to be able to name their fourth great-grandmother and great-grandfather. I didn't ever think we would be able to go that far back. Yeah. So that was a wonderful surprise. Mm -hmm. What I want to know is what was the environment like when my fourth great-grandfather, Robert Bob Etchinson, went to register to vote? I think of it as the first freedom summer, the summer of 1867. So it's two years after the end of the Civil War. And because of the Reconstruction Act signed in March, 1867, all the black men in the former Confederacy got the right to vote. Women, of course, couldn't vote. Right. But women were right there saying, Robert, you gotta get up and you gotta put your ex on this thing. <laughs> it was very much a communal affair. So it was like a festival of freedom. And then it all came crashing down. And that was done through tactics of voter suppression that weren't race specific, but in reality were targeting the members of the African-American community. The grandfather clause, literacy test. Wow. That's how effective voter suppression was. I feel that there's something in our line that makes it important to fight for what's right. And I just can't imagine what kind of courage and strength that would it would take to claim that right. And I feel that our resilience has not been seen for what it was because we never asked to be resilient. We asked to be treated as humans. I believe resilience is what pushes us forward. And I think that's a true badge of honor. That's why all of these stories need to be interwoven together so that we understand the full history of the great American Republic and by restoring the story of your ancestor, you contribute to that new narrative. Right. We're reclaiming our history. Yes. Say, my yeah. family started voting back in 1867. There's nothing I love more than helping people find their lost ancestors suspended in time. 